patient ventilator asynchrony or dyssynchrony what is this asynchrony or dyssynchrony this means that patient's effort is not adequately met by the ventilator and this is creating a asynchrony between patient's ventilation and the ventilator now this will further deteriorate the lung condition of the patient and would increase distress in the patient and increase the overall morbidity and mortality in the patient so as soon as possible we need to eliminate it to eliminate it we need to understand that how we can make a diagnosis by seeing the graphs of the ventilation that whether patient ventilator asynchrony is happening or not in this section we will talk about that how we will make a diagnosis of patient ventilator asynchrony why this is happening and what changes in the setting of the ventilator that we have to do to minimize it remember no one setting of ventilation is good or is let's say best for every patient some patient may be comfortable on a particular mode some patient may be on some other mode so we need to make a proper let's say discovery in our patient that which would be the best mode for that particular patient right and this would eliminate any patient ventilator dyssynchrony so starting with what is the definition as i said that it is it is a term which is said which is used to describe patient's ventilator patient and ventilator interaction so it is a term which is telling us about the patient's interaction with ventilator specifically inappropriate timing and delivery of mechanical breath in response to patient's effort so inappropriate delivery and timing of the mechanical breath is what is called the patient ventilator dyssynchrony right then why is this ventilator dyssynchrony bad i said we need to make a diagnosis eliminate it as soon as possible why this is bad this is bad because it is increasing the distress in the patient patient is not comfortable on the ventilator it is increasing the distress and this increased distress would increase cause the sympathetic stimulation would increase the oxygen demand in the patient and all this would further deteriorate a patient especially cardiac patient can decompensate if ventilator dyssynchrony is happening apart from that if patient is not comfortable on a particular mode then patient may try to cough etc on the ventilator this could increase the intracranial pressure decrease the cerebral perfusion pressure would further deteriorate a neuro patient right who already has a increased icp all this would increase morbidity mortality increase the length of stay of the patient on mechanical ventilation right so we need to definitely eliminate it so as i said it is bad so why it is bad why it is bad the patient ventilator asynchrony because number 1 it increases the work of breathing it increases work of breathing right the work of breathing of patient is increased this increased work of breathing increases the oxygen demand so the oxygen demand increases now this increase oxygen demand produces distress in the patient sympathetic stimulation and distress so the anxiety the anxiety and distress of patient increases of patient on ventilator increases right now patient may begin to cough on the ventilator the patient may try the patient may try to cough try to cough on ventilator so this would increase the intracranial pressure decrease the cerebral perfusion pressure so the icp the intracranial pressure can increase and the cerebral perfusion pressure can decrease all this will increase the length of stay of patient on the uh, ventilator and the icu stay of course so this will all this all the above factor all the above factors would cause increased time would cause increased time on when on ventilator would cause increased time on ventilator increased icu stay and increased let's say hospital stay
So all this would increase the morbidity and mortality in the patient. So we need to eliminate it as soon as possible. So how do we classify this patient ventilator dyssynchrony? It can happen during mechanical ventilation and it what exactly is its cause? To understand that, we have already discussed in our topic mechanical ventilation how a mechanical breath is realized or how a mechanical breath is delivered. A mechanical breath is delivered, it is let's say defined by five important factors. Number one, how the breath is triggered. Number two, how the breath is cycled. Number three, how the breath is controlled. Then what is the baseline pressure? Right. And what is the limiting limiting pressure? So there are number these these let's say define a mechanical breath. So the dyssynchrony can happen during any time of a realization of the mechanical breath. It can happen during triggering. So when a mechanical breath is triggered, whether it is patient triggered or machine triggered breath, if it is not properly synchronized with both patient and between patient and ventilator, this would cause patient ventilator dyssynchrony. So the multiple ways the patient ventilator dyssynchrony has been classified. It is very confusing. The easiest way to classify it on the basis whether the triggering is causing dyssynchrony or during triggering inadequate flow is causing dyssynchrony or cycling of the breath from inspiration to expiration is causing dyssynchrony. So as I said a mechanical breath a mechanical breath. We define it by number of parameters, triggering, right? Then cycling, then your controlling, of course, the baseline pressure, controlling and the baseline pressure. So the baseline pressure is what we set is something called PEEP. And any time during a mechanical breath, dyssynchrony can happen. Now, why will triggering cause dyssynchrony? Triggering, in, inappropriate triggering is one of the commonest cause of dyssynchrony. Now, number of time we set our patient trigger, we say in on the setting of the ventilator, we set a patient trigger. Now, if this trigger is not, say, let's say, sensitive enough, right, then this would be a wasted effort. Patient will try to trigger but the triggering, the parameter which we have chosen for the triggering, it is not sensitive enough to be realized by the ventilator. Then it would be a wasted effort. So this inappropriate triggering is causing a patient ventilator asynchrony. So we need to modify the triggering. I'll talk about it more further. Now, just I'm giving example just to explain you first. Cycling, how would cycling cause a dyssynchrony? Now, there is a, the we set inspiration expiration ratio we set a ie ratio right so in one during one mechanical breath the patient would cycle from inspiration to expiration according to our setting right now if patient has not completed his inspiration or his requirement is even more right then a ventilator may send uh, let's say cycle from inspiration to expiration but patient's inspiration is not complete then that would cause again a dyssynchrony that would cause a double trigger right again patient will try to trigger another breath because patient does not have have not received adequate tidal volume which patient wants to achieve so the this would cause dyssynchrony that during expiratory phase which the ventilator is sensing patient is again initiating another inspiratory breath okay now baseline pressure how could the baseline pressure cause a dyssynchrony well if the baseline pressure of the patient, a auto peep has been developed in COPD patient due to dynamic hyperinflation, something called auto peep develops. Now this auto peep, patient has to overcome this auto peep to initiate a mechanical breath. If this is too high and patient is not able to generate that much effort, then again it would be a wasted effort and it would cause patient ventilator dyssynchrony. So there are ways to minimize it. There are ways to remedify it. So how we will try to remedify it. So as I said, first it is divided on the basis of triggering, flow and cycling. So I'll start my discussion of patient ventilator dyssynchrony with the problems in the triggering. Triggering. So we all know that patients uh, in on a mecha mechanical ventilation on any mode, a breath can be 
patient trigger or machine trigger. It could be machine trigger.